How to turn on developer mode on the Quest 2, Quest 3, or Quest 3S. First of all, you're going to want to go to developers.meta.com forward slash horizon. The link is in the description down below. So you want to go to the top right hand corner and click log in and then click login to existing meta account. It'll then ask you for your login username and password and you just log in with that. Or you might get this where it's asking you to continue with the user account that you've already got set up. That's only if you've already logged in in the browser recently. You want to log in with the account that you're using on your quest. You then click continue. It's probably then going to send you an email with a confirmation code that you need to type in. It might not necessarily do this, and if it doesn't, you'll just go straight through into your account. You're then going to want to go to My Apps, which is in the top right-hand corner again. It's then going to want you to verify your account. Now you can either do this with a credit card or with a text message using two-step authentication. I'm going to show you the text message two-step authentication version because... I think most people will have that over a credit card. Hopefully you have one of them. So you want to click set up. It's then going to ask you to allow all cookies. I'd just do that. It'll then bring you to your Meta account center and it should have brought you into password and security and under login and recovery, you need to go to two-step authentication. If it hasn't done that, just go to password and security and then find the section under login and recovery. Once you click two-step authentication, you're going to get a pop-up and it's going to ask you to sign in or authenticate the account that you want to. Now you need to use the same one that you're using for your quest. It's then going to ask you to add an extra layer of security to your account. Now you can either do this through an authentication app, which is normally the way you should do it, but, and I, I really, I need to stress this point, at first it asks you that you want, it wants to identify or authenticate through text messages, not through an authentication app. So you need to do the text message version, which is really annoying because it actually says recommended, but it's it's not the way to do it. You'll run into loads of problems if you do it with the authentication app. Try it if you want to. So when you select the text message, it's going to ask you to add a phone number and you need to add a phone number that you actually have access to, not just a fake one. Once you've added the phone number, you want to click next and it's then going to ask you to enter a confirmation code. That confirmation code should come to your telephone number. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes, so just, just wait around, make yourself a drink, I don't know. Once you've got the confirmation code, just enter it here and then click next. You will then get a pop-up saying two-step authentication is on, which is what you need. And then you just want to click done, but you're not done. You've got two more steps to go, so don't, don't go anywhere. Stay here. <laughs> You then should come back to your meta developer account area where it tells you about your verification and it should say verification verification is complete next to the two-step authentication bit. If it doesn't, just refresh the page. And if it doesn't come back to that section, just go to the link again in the description, the developers.meta.com. You then want to go to the top right hand corner and click create organization. This is where you create your organization to actually become a developer. So what you want to do is come up with a name that no one else has come up with, which might take you a while, and then click I understand, and then click submit. You'll then get another pop-up where it's asking you to agree again, and then submit again. No, 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 no. There's no reason why is there. Once you've done that, your organization will be created. If you look down the left-hand side menu, you'll see the organization, and then under that will be your name. You'll then want to go to your Meta Horizon app on your phone, and in the top left-hand corner, there is the icon for your device. You want to click on that, and then you want to go to Headset Settings, and then you want to go to Developer Mode, and you want to just toggle that on. If you don't see, the, or it won't let you toggle it, what you need to do is reset your app or like switch your phone on and off and then also switch your MetaQuest on and off as well. Sometimes that can cause issues, just do that anyway. It might make it a lot easier for you to do. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.